What is going on with the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series schedule? According to Bob Pockers, NASCAR is still two to three weeks away from releasing the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series schedule, but we have heard a lot of rumors going around, right? And I think some are definitely more credible than others. They're not headed to Mexico, regardless of what that one guy on Reddit said, where his sources are telling him they might be headed to Mexico. Who are your sources, dude? Because I don't think anybody else has heard that. But let's talk about some of the credible ones that I think are actually going to happen. And to start off with, it's the fact that there is going to be a NASCAR Cup Series doubleheader next year at some point. And it's going to come in the second half of the year because NASCAR's broadcasting partner, NBC, needs to shut down production in the United States for two weeks to go over and cover the Olympics in Paris. Because of that, they need the NASCAR Cup Series to take two weeks off. So you can basically just assume that the NASCAR off weekend that happened to be on Father's Day this year, why they take Father's Day off, I'll never understand that, will end up likely getting moved into August. So now that's one weekend taken care of. They need to find another weekend to free up as well. And that's where this doubleheader comes into play at, which sounds like it's going to be at Richmond. And I don't think it's going to be a Saturday-Sunday doubleheader like what we've seen at Pocono, Michigan, and uh, Dover in recent years. I think it's going to be a Thursday-Sunday doubleheader. Cup Series on Thursday, Trucks on Friday, Sunday on Saturday, Cup on Sunday. So if you're in Richmond, or you happen to like Richmond, you can get four, week, or four races of racing Four days of racing. Four weeks of racing? That'd be absolutely insane. That's too much Richmond. We can't have four weeks of racing at Richmond. Four races in a row uh, over the course of four days. If you want to see that, I'm sure it'll be a great time for you. But I don't know if Richmond's exactly where a lot of people want to see a doubleheader happen at. It just seems like that's going to be the place. I have seen some people be like, oh, I think it's going to get partnered, paired up with like Martinsville. That doesn't make any sense because that would mean that the spring Martinsville would have to likely move into... August, but they're already going to race there in November, which obviously those dates are really close. Pocono did it for years, though. I just don't think that's happening uh, going forward, and ISC doesn't necessarily want to have to do that with two of their dates, so I think it's going to be a Richmond doubleheader because, again, ISC is not moving one of their dates off to somebody else, which they're not getting rid of a Richmond date, regardless of how you feel about that. Uh, that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Another rumor that does feel like there's a good chance of it happening is the fact that NASCAR could be headed north of the border in 2024. We've heard that NASCAR told teams to get their passports ready, likely in the scenario that they're going to Montreal to race at Circuit Gilles Villeneuve, which hosted the Xfinity Series for a number of years before they moved off of that date because the organizers said they couldn't make any money. We'll see what happens there, but apparently NASCAR is still in negotiations, at least according to Bob, uh, about you know the possibility of having a race there. If that race does happen, that likely takes the Fontana spot that was vacated on the calendar. No, they're not racing in Montreal in February. That would be absolutely insane. But the date that was reserved for Fontana will now be reserved for Montreal, wherever that slots in on the calendar. And you're probably wondering what's going to take that early season slot on the West Coast Swing with the Fontana date being gone. And I'm just going to say this right now. I don't think Fontana's ever coming back. They don't have any plans in place for this half mile. They have no idea what the track layout would look like. They haven't submitted any documents to local government. Fontana's never coming back. So we can just abandon that idea of that ever happening again. And that might be fine because if we still don't have a good short track package, what's the point of going out there? However, that would have been a great spot for the championship race, which is still staying in Phoenix next year, which is Super unfortunate for anybody that actually enjoys racing. So what takes that Fontana spot early in the season though? A lot of people have been pushing to get Sonoma moved up to the West Coast Swing so that you can see a green Sonoma. Obviously they race there in the summertime when the heat has made its way um, to Sonoma, kills all the grass, it's brown, we get it. You know, you've seen Sonoma a hundred times. If they race in early February or late February, early March, it's going to be very green. Uh, Sonoma has not had the heat yet, but with that comes rain, and the highs, uh, the highs around that time of year are only going to be in the low 60s, likely, with lows getting down into the mid 40s. Not exactly the best weather to get people to come out to. It would look great on television. It'd be great for for photo taking, but at the end of the day, I just don't think it's moving up that far on the schedule. At least not to that first half of the West Coast swing. I think you could see it, you know basically staying where it's at, you know, barring something crazy happening. So I think those are like the most realistic options. Other things that you're hearing, and of course everybody's hearing this, is that the Indianapolis road course will give way 
to the Indianapolis Oval next year, the return of the Brickyard 400 for the 30th anniversary of its inaugural running, which Jeff Gordon won, obviously. Uh, I think that's happening. They did a tire test on the Oval. It hasn't been officially announced yet. IMS put out a graphic that showed the car going around the Oval, basically just saying, hey, this is happening without a formal announcement. Why it hasn't been formally announced yet? I'm not really sure because it should have been at this point. Uh, the other thing that I think a lot of people keep hearing is the Charlotte Roval moving back to the Oval in the fall race. So the Charlotte fall race could potentially be coming back. The Roval, the parking lot race around the infield at Charlotte Motor Speedway it would be, you know, put on mothballs for a while and sunset and for the foreseeable future because people aren't really happy with what they're seeing uh, on the road courses out of this new Gen 7 car for the Cup Series. So that could be happening as well. And now you're like, well, if they're getting rid of the road course in the playoffs, what's going to take that? There's a lot of talk about NASCAR trying to figure out how to get Watkins Glen into the playoffs. And a lot of that, you know, I'm sure you're also thinking, why don't they just say, hey, you're in the playoffs, which they easily, easily could. The problem is Watkins Glen relies a ton on camping, right? Obviously, you've seen the aerial images. There's tons of campers around. It's really hard for people to take their kids camping when school's back in session. And if they want to move it into the playoffs, school's back in session. You can't just pack up the RV on a Thursday night or a Friday and head off to the upstate Finger Lakes region and camp out for the weekend. Things get a lot harder then. So I think NASCAR has to weigh, weigh that as they go forward. There's still going to be some campers there, right? There's still going to be a ton of people, but that's the biggest issue. A lot of people want to talk about the Chicago Street Course and whether that's going to be back next year. It's, I mean, NASCAR has a contract for it. They haven't been told they're not going back. New Mayor Brandon Johnson seemed encouraged by what he saw over the 4th of July weekend. Obviously, the rain, nobody could have accounted for the amount of rain that they got. Uh, so hopefully they do go back because I think that race deserves a better showing than what they had. And I thought it was still a really good race overall. I just think everybody would like to see how that race plays out in the dry uh, because it probably could have been pretty entertaining still. So that's all on the table. There's a lot of talk about the future of the All-Star Race and whether that's going to remain at North Wilkesboro or if it's going to move to a different track. Tons of fans are clamoring for it to move to Rockingham. That's just not going to happen. The also race is an SMI date. Rockingham is not owned by SMI anymore. Uh, so unless they can rent the facility and basically take all the revenue from it, they're not going to give up one of their dates to Rockingham. What's more likely going to happen is that that all-star race is either going to move to Bristol or Atlanta because North Wilkesboro is more than likely getting a points paying race in 2024, likely to be on Easter Sunday night. And you're probably wondering, where's that date coming from? It's either coming from the Bristol Spring Race, because Bristol Dirt is gone, it's not happening in 2024, or it's coming from one of the Atlanta dates. Uh, an all-star race at Atlanta would be absolutely wild. I'm not sure if we're ready for a drafting track to have the all-star race. I say absolutely wild, it probably wouldn't be that wild, right? Every year the all-star race gets hyped up as being this crazy race where anything happens, nothing ever happens. Um, so it could happen at Atlanta, or it could move to Bristol. Whatever track gives up a date for North Wilkesboro to have a points paying race likely gets the all-star race. Uh, so do we want to see 400 laps at North Wilkesboro? Not necessarily. We saw 200 laps there during the all-star race and it wasn't exactly that thrilling. Kyle Larson absolutely laid it on him, but because this car is really bad on short tracks, it didn't play out very well. So, and running that race on Easter Sunday night is going to make a lot of people in the South very angry once again. And I'm not sure, ticket sales will be fine, but there's going to be angry people. Uh, Brett Griffin will complain on DBC. It'll be a whole thing for some. For some. What would be really crazy is they put dirt on North Wilkesboro, which that is always a possibility. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen, but it is a possibility. Uh, so North Wilkesboro is likely getting a points paying race for 2024. Other things that, you know, rumors, things that are going on. There's a lot of talk about Texas moving its one date from the playoffs up to the early portion of the season uh, so that it can undergo a reconfiguration. Not entirely sure if that's happening, but if it does happen, it makes a ton of sense because especially if they're going to give them their fall date back in 2025 for the playoffs, uh, that gives them a lot of time uh, to do that reconfiguration and they're not basically held to a like 12 month calendar they'd probably be closer to 18 months so that makes things a lot more feasible from there other than that i don't think we're seeing any 
new tracks getting added to the schedule. I think everybody would love to see Iowa get added uh, just because it absolutely eats tires and it would probably be a pretty fun time. ISC owns it, likely not going to happen. Uh, Milwaukee, I see a lot of people clamoring for Milwaukee too. That's not happening for the Cup Series, maybe for Xfinity um, going forward. Portland, again, I would like to see the Cup Series go there. I don't think they're going to because again, ISC or SMI is going to have to give up a date for that to happen or they're gonna have to drop like Gateway or Pocono and I don't think they're doing either of those because they still both get pretty good crowds, Pocono this year especially. Uh, so there's a lot of things that could be happening. I don't think there's going to be anything that's absolutely wild that blows you away. Kentucky's not coming back. SMI is likely never going to have another race there. They're just going to let the earth reclaim that track and take it back to its natural state at some point. And then outside of that, you know, there's not a ton else that they could do. NASCAR has, of course, been talking to other cities about hosting a street race. Uh, if, they're, if they were going to do a street race for 2024, we would, would have heard about it by now, right? Like, they would have had to have had these conversations with city councils uh, going forward. One thing that I will say regarding the clash, and I know at the very beginning of this, I said that the one guy talked about going to Mexico. Uh, the only way NASCAR ends up in Mexico is if they take the clash from the LA Coliseum and put it in like Azteca or one of those other stadiums in Mexico. I think that'd be absolutely wild. I don't think it happens for 2024, but as they look to try to make the clash maybe a, a race that moves around and take it into city centers like they did with LA, uh, that is a place that they could do it at. Uh, you need a big stadium, right? You need an Olympic sized stadium and, uh, there's nowhere else really in the States that they can go in the first week of February and outside of places where they're already kind of running races at. So that is always a possibility. Uh, let me know in the comments what you would like to see out of this schedule, uh, anything, any additions, or even what you possibly have heard. Oh, let's get crazy. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and threads at Break Hard Blog.